Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be starting to decorate for spring. I don't know how it is where you guys live, but here in Arizona, we have been like abnormally cold. When I say that, it's been like 50 degrees and we are freezing here. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous, but we're used to a lot warmer weather. So I am kind of willing spring into existence by adding it into our house. And I'm so excited because winter has just felt so long this year. Also, I did get back from an actually really cold place, Montana, where I was visiting my mom. I am so ready for winter to be done and spring to be here. So we do have you know, the usual. We are going to be getting some cleaning motivation as we tidy up the main living area. And then we are going to be decorating, taking all these down and decorating for spring, just kind of throughout the main living area and up in like the cove upstairs. So if you guys are ready for spring as much as I am, let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna hear you say it. I love, especially in the springtime and summer, kind of when you're opening up those windows, I love starting to diffuse some oils and just get that nice fresh feeling started, especially when you have like a big day of cleaning or organizing or decluttering, decorating all those kind of homemaking things ahead of you. It's just nice to get that little scent going throughout the house and kind of motivate you that way. I have some exciting news. We are actually going to be going to different countertop stores in the area this week to be picking out our new counters for our kitchen renovation. And of course we will be vlogging it all. So that will be over on the Kyle and Amanda channel. Just kind of like some of the behind the scenes process of our kitchen makeover, but that should be happening this month. And I am just so beyond excited and a little bit in disbelief because we've been working towards this goal of redoing our kitchen ever since moving in almost two years ago. And I just can't believe that we are finally to that point now. But I also wanted to get your guys' opinions on what type of countertop right now we are going for granite that's what we've had that's what we know that's what we love but I know there are a lot of other options out there so if you have personally had any experience with any of the other countertop types let me know in the comments which ones you love which ones you don't love and just kind of any information you have on that I would greatly appreciate it Who remembers when I transformed this old dresser I got from Facebook Marketplace into this beautiful, more modern buffet? It honestly looks completely different than it did whenever I bought it on Facebook Marketplace, but we just love it now. And I actually have several other Facebook Marketplace finds sitting in our garage currently that I really need to get working on. But let me know in the comments, have you ever flipped furniture? I feel like a lot of people are really overwhelmed with the idea of it and feel like it's very unattainable, but it really isn't that difficult, especially if you just kind of get something for a cheap price and then you're able to just kind of experiment with it and you learn a lot more as you go. Now, I used to actually do this for a bunch of the furniture that we had in our house previously. And I love doing that because you can get a really great deal, customize it and put your own spin on it. And you end up with a really great piece that would have cost a lot more than what you actually paid. So that's definitely like a hobby of mine that I just don't give enough time to, but I love the process of that. Also, side note, I love this little planter that I got from Walmart. I am just using it as a fruit bowl, but I love that it's so bright and fresh for spring. Finding our way back somehow. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the other 
Here I'm just refilling a few of our pantry containers and I actually really need to get back in there and just kind of tidy it up a little bit, especially after doing my mom's pantry last week. I'm just really excited to get my pantry looking kind of how it should be because it's definitely gotten a bit out of hand. A lot of things have really stayed nice, but it could always use some work. But let me know in the comments if you saw last week's pantry video and if you did what you thought of it. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want to love you. I just want to hold you. Just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Now I'm just tackling our never ending dishes. I swear we have more dirty dishes than we actually use. It's the same thing with laundry. Like how do we have laundry constantly piling up when I know we're not doing a bunch of outfit changes throughout the day, but we just have so much laundry that needs to get done all the time. Those are definitely the two chores in the house that always, always need to get done. Even when you think you're finished with them all, you look in the sink or you look in the dirty bin and there is more stacking up already before your eyes. But I was thinking about this the other day. If there was one chore that you could never ever have to do in your life again, what would it be? I feel like a lot of people are going to say dishes or laundry just because they are never ending. For me, I would say laundry at this point. I just hate having to wash everything and especially like organize it and put it all away. Definitely I could do without laundry for the rest of my life and never ever miss it. The new bloom towels arrived for spring. This is their spring collection. I have not even opened them up. I figured I would open them up with you guys and show you what they got, but I can already tell they're so cute. How cute is this? This one has some florals, some eggs, and then on the other side is just this really, really pretty like mint green plaid color. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, I can't decide which side I like. This one has like yellow, mint green, purple, and white and pink plaid. And then on this side is just purple stripes. So just very simple and subtle. And then how cute is this one? This one has these little, little white flowers with the yellow center on the pink on the outside. And then the other side is yellow plaid. How adorable is that? I love this. I feel like it's between these two are my favorite ones for the spring collection. But as always, I will have a link down below and I believe the code is just Amanda and I think it saves you 15% off. These sell out insanely fast, so definitely check it out down below if you want to snag some. And they also have the ones that they have like all year round as well.
Also, I didn't even ask, but what is the weather like where you live? It's so crazy to me that some of us have had a super mild winter while others have had the complete opposite and it's been way more intense and cold and harsh. Here for us in Arizona, we have definitely had a colder winter than normal and I pretty much hated it. You guys probably know I hate cold weather. I love warm weather. And even though in Arizona, it doesn't get like freezing, freezing cold, it feels very cold to me and I'm not here for it. And I would a hundred percent opt for a way more intense summer than a harsh winter. But let me know, would you rather have way colder weather or way hotter weather? Gazing at the blue of the night Stars are filling up the sky You take my hand in yours We'll make our own constellations I could say how much you mean To me, but it won't mean a thing Cause words never sound quite right Let's find our own kind of language We've searched the whole world. We are making some progress. The kitchen is all clean. It feels nice and tidy in there. We are gonna tackle the living room. And I actually just saw something on Instagram. It's ideal to put two chairs up against a window and couches like that way so that you can really view out into like the window view. Like I've literally never thought to do that. So we might rearrange a little bit in here cause you know. Why not? We don't have a whole lot to tidy in here, just kind of tidy up the pillows and like whatever randomness is here. And then I'm actually going to start by pulling all of the decor down off of the shelves. I did just, you know, put some of these decor pieces up as like transitional pieces between winter and spring. And I did wipe them down, but my guess is I'm still going to <laughs> need to redust up there. So we'll do that as well. We'll kind of see what time we're left with. I got started on time today. Like I was on my game today, but Liam and Noah both had like an eat lunch with parents today. And so I went to their school and that just took up a lot of time. So much fun. I'm so happy that we got to do that today. It did just kind of cut into my time, but that's okay. No worries. It can always be done later. So we'll get as much done as we can today. And then I'm sure we'll continue some of it or a bit of it tomorrow. I did want to let you guys know we are going to do a pre-order for these new This Crazy Life tumblers. I actually shared a community post here on YouTube and I also shared over on Instagram and Facebook, but we launched these tumblers in very limited quantities last week and they sold out in like two days. So we are going to be offering a pre-order for anyone who missed out on them and they are going to be coming in, I believe five different colors, but I will have the link down below so you can go ahead and check them out. They will only be available for pre-order this week, but all that information will be on the link. Hi Felix.
I'm going to ask for your guys' opinions on something. Do you think that I should redo our coffee table? When I purchased it after moving in, I actually didn't love the color. I felt like it was very dark. They did have a lighter option, but it was out of stock forever. And then when they finally got it in stock somewhere, it was like $100 more expensive. And I'm like, I'm not gonna pay $100 for a color. So I just went ahead and got this one and it kind of has worked out well. I feel like it matches our floors but I do kind of think it would look nice to have a lighter color in here. So let me know, do you think I should kind of try to refinish it in a lighter wood color, or do you think I should paint it, or just leave it as is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. No one's ever seen. No one's ever seen. I'm not sure if I like it or if I don't, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's easy enough to switch, especially when Kyle's here, so either way, it's something new, so that's always a good thing to just kind of change things up. But I'm gonna go get the ladder or a little step stool so I can grab the things off the top shelves, start clearing that off and getting it all wiped down. coasters for our coffee table but this little like coaster holder was actually a candle that we got from Walmart I don't know back in probably like October November December and basically it's one of the ones that has two different scents and so I just cleaned it out you can either use like hot water to kind of soften the wax and clean it out or you can actually pop it in your freezer the wax just kind of like pops out of the candle you can clean it up and then it works so perfect as a little coaster holder and it didn't cost anything extra and you can get them in different colors like i just thought this was so cool and i finally found like a really great way to store our coasters this way Is this the way it's supposed to go wait until your life looks beautiful So to clean the shelves, I am just using my full circle duster. I have had this for years and I love that it's reusable. You can take the actual duster part off, toss it in the wash, and then when it gets really worn down, you can actually buy just a replacement piece for that. So it just works super, super well and also super random, but how cute are these slippers? I got them on Amazon recently. I'll link them down below, but they are just the cutest thing. I feel like there's no way to wear them and look down at your feet and then not smile, which anything that can make you smile a little bit more is always a win. Also, I'm just jumping from one thing to the next, but I wanted to let you guys know this vacuum. I've had it for a couple years and it works amazingly. It also bends about halfway through so you can get underneath your furniture super easily and it's actually on sale, like a crazy good deal right now. Normally it's about $350 and I just saw it go on sale a few days ago for under $200. So that's almost 50% discount. Definitely check it out. I'm not sure how long this is going to last and I'm not sure how long they'll keep it in stock, but I'll have that link down below. Definitely check it out. I would highly recommend this vacuum if you need like a really good cordless vacuum. And it does work very well on hard floors and on carpet. It is a new day but we have everything like nice and clean. We recleaned last night, of course, because you know, things just get out of hand quickly here. 
But today we are going to start out with one I wanted to make like a fun DIY room spray. Perfect for spring. It's also like, of course, super budget friendly and just simple to do. And then we are going to actually DIY a few little decor pieces, like remake some of the decor pieces that I already have to make them feel fresh and new and something that kind of fits into our style a little bit more right now. And then we are going to get into actually decorating everything. So we're gonna decorate the shelves, decorate a little bit in the kitchen and dining room. This year I can actually decorate up in our loft area. So we're going to try to do that today as well. We also have those recipes today. So we have like all the fun stuff going on today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the thing we're gonna start out with today is making a room spray. So I just have this amber bottle. It's actually a room spray bottle that I had gotten from Grove Collaborative a while ago. So it was just in my cleaning closet, but you can find these on Amazon. You might even be able to find them at the Target Dollar Spot, things like that. So I have this, I wanna say it's like an eight ounce bottle. I have half a cup of water, and then I also have witch hazel. It just makes the scent kind of linger a little bit bit longer and then I'm just going to add in some drops of my essential oils you can make whatever concoction you like with that for spring I am such a sucker for citrus and like fruity scents so I just have some grapefruit and then I also have some lemon I'm gonna do pretty much half and half maybe a few extra of the grapefruit just because I love that scent let's go ahead and put this together Say something meaningful, say something I don't know, I wanna know you better, the way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel, I don't know if you're I love a good room spray and these are so fun to make yourself because you can really customize all the scents but you can just go around spray them on fabrics or in the air and just freshen up your home instantly. All right, the next thing I want to do is actually kind of just change up um, some decor I already have. I wanted to go in here this is kind of like some everyday random decor we kind of hold on to things sometimes for makeovers that we might do or you know just whatever to kind of change things up and this guy is the one that I want to DIY so I got this two years ago and it was on clearance I love the shape of it like it just has like these different I don't know like divots in it and it just looks really cool however can you see like that blue it just doesn't really fit it looks very out of place and so I am just going to change this up and this is something you can do if you want to just change up your decor without having to go out and buy new stuff you can really get a totally different look just by spray painting something or painting it a different color or you know doing various things to it so today we are going to spray paint it but not just with any old spray paint I'm trying out that stone spray paint I've seen it done and it just looks really cool and you know just for a couple dollars with spray paint like you can totally change something up like this so we can kind of make our own decor exactly what we want on a budget it did say to prime it and I think I probably will need to spray a little primer on it just to cover up that blue but that is so cool I love that super quick and easy too so we are going to let that dry outside for a few minutes but while we're doing that I wanted to put together some pictures so I just have some frames I think we're gonna put the 8x10 in this like floating frame and then I'll put the more vintage one on this frame, but I'll have to just take out the mat. So let's go ahead and get those put in. But this is such a great way to change out your decor. You buy one frame, you can even thrift a bunch of frames. Like they're so cheap at the thrift store. You can even rub and buff it or spray paint it to like change it up. And then you can go on Etsy and there are thousands of downloadable prints and everything that you can use. And the great thing about this is like, I can use this for spring and then for summer print or whatever, fall. So it's just super nice to be able to do this. And it's just really easy, honestly. We're gonna head outside and I'm gonna spray paint like a little color onto that base thing. This is just the one in the heirloom white. I'll spray paint it with this color to give it some good coverage and then I'll probably re-spray paint it again with that stone 
just to give it more texture. So you can kind of see like that blue color in there, but the texture is so pretty. So a majority of this are things that we're using from previous years. The reason that I like to take everything down from the shelf is so that I can put it up in a new way. It feels fresh and new and exciting. And so I kind of like to restyle every single season by adding just a few little pieces here and there that are new. It will also freshen up all of your old decor as well. So that's just like a few tips that I have to decorate your house on a budget without having to go out every new, every season and buy a bunch of new decor and breaking the bank that way. So we're gonna go ahead and start decorating these shelves. I do wanna save a spot for that pot, but I don't think it's dry yet. So we're gonna have to wait on that one, but we'll just start kind of slowly, but surely getting things decorated. I do still have these things from the shelves the other day and I have, you know, a few things in here. So as I'm decorating, I can always come pull from these. I can always DIY, paint them, change them up, things like that to add into the space. So I think we should be good. You see things that get added that wasn't on the couch. That's, that's where they're coming from. Somewhere else in my house is looking a little bare, but we'll fill in the blanks kind of as we go. I'm already feeling a little overwhelmed with the bare shelves over there and just knowing like I have all this stuff and I have to somehow style it to make sense and you know look pleasing to the eye and all that stuff. So I'll just kind of take you guys along with me on this a little bit more in depth than I have done in the past and hopefully that will help. But definitely let me know what you guys think if you would rather just you know, sit back and watch or if you kind of want to be in my head a little bit more about like what I'm doing and why. So one of the first things that I like to do is figure out where to put the big items because they will be limited on where exactly they can go. And typically I like to put like one larger item on each shelf and then I can kind of accent those pieces with some smaller items. So that's what I'm gonna kind of start by doing first is figuring out which larger item I want on each shelf. Once I get a larger item on the shelf, I will then add in typically one to two more pieces to try and use the rule of three. And then I just kind of play around with adding and taking away decor pieces until it all looks perfect. And I also like to add in different heights and textures to each shelf just to add interest. And I love including real and faux florals and greenery just to give life to any space. But I always make sure to keep the real live ones down on the bottom shelf so that they can be easily reached and watered and not given a death sentence because I try my hardest to keep all my plants happy and alive. You guys, I love this little vase. I got it from World Market. This was like the one thing on my list that I really wanted to make sure to get this spring. I saw it months ago and it's just been on my mind ever since. Now let's talk for just a second about coffee table books. Coffee table books are always a great addition. They have lots of photos for inspiration and there's something really easy to look at and read if you're just sitting on the couch board and they also double as decor. It's such a win all around. This one is a live plant, so I want to incorporate this, but I also want to keep it alive, and so I want to have it on the bottom to keep it easy to water. And then we always have this dish here. This just hold, holds remotes. I always want to have this obviously down here because I'm all about function first.
Nope, still not quite right. However, I did love this yellow floral piece with the flowers sort of spraying over the remote bowl, just kind of creating that added interest. Plus, I absolutely loved the pop of color on that bottom shelf. I'm honestly kind of at a loss for what to do with this shelf right now. So I'm just going to move on and we'll come back to it. There's nothing else to do because I can just like stick around on the shelf for quite a while and I'll probably get frustrated and it won't turn out good or I'll just move on and then it'll kind of come together. But I'm going to take a break on this one because I'm stumped. <laughs> I went out and checked on the base and it is looking amazing. I put on one more coat of the stone stuff. However, it is not even really close to being dry. So I'm gonna have to leave that out there for a while. I have this piece. It's not the same, but it's kind of like the same height and it's a similar kind of color. So I'm gonna put this up as a place saver for the vase that we just DIY'd. And then once that's done, I'll actually come back in and like replace this one. But for now, I'm just gonna put this up so that I can kind of envision what it's gonna look like in my mind. At our house, we typically eat at our table and use it every day. So I've never really been one to do a big fancy tablescape as beautiful as they are. And as much as I wish I would do that because I just love the look of them, but they're just not really functional for our family. So instead I just change out the table runner and add a pretty decorative fruit bowl and call it a day. And then on the buffet, I'm just adding a few live plants and getting those watered. I don't typically do a whole lot in the kitchen just because I really use my kitchen all the time and I'm cooking in here all the time, but I do decorate with a few different things. One is dish towels. You guys know I love bloom towels just because you can decorate for the season. They're double-sided, they're super absorbent, so they're very functional as well as just cute. But then the other thing that I do in the kitchen is add fresh flowers. This is not a functional thing. However, it does make me feel very happy. So my favorites are actually Actually, carnations they're my mom's favorite too and I love them because one they're like very inexpensive and two they last for a really long time I can usually make it a lot cheaper when I make it myself versus buying a pre-made floral arrangement at the store and I typically go for fairly neutral ones but since we're in spring I decided to add a pop of spring colors so we have this one with like really pretty purple and white flowers and then these green leaves and then I just have some white flowers to kind of make up the bulk of the arrangement and then I think we might go ahead and head upstairs into the loft and just do a quick decorate up there for spring, add some color and life to the space, and then we'll come back down and work on the recipes, which I am so excited for. I'm not like hungry yet, but 
my mouth is watering thinking about them, so it's gonna be good. Alright, everything down here is looking really nice, minus we're gonna still wait for that one pot to dry and put it up on the shelves. But I'm going to put this wreath up. I got this, I want to say from Kirkland's. Gosh, we were in Utah, so it was maybe like 2019. We've had this a really long time. This is our stinky football closet door. You do not want to smell in there. It is not pleasant. <laughs> it's like kind of what you see when you come in. So pop that up. It looks so pretty. I'll just kind of adjust that a little bit. And then we will go ahead and head upstairs to the loft. So if you're new here, you would not even recognize this area from the end of last year. We used to have a huge mirror right here. This entire room was painted blue. And then recently, like within the last month, we actually just changed this over. It was the same desk and built-in area, but it was, you know, like that builder grade oak color. And so we actually used Beyond Paint, painted this all, added hardware, just made it kind of match the flow of everything. But this is really the area that we're going to be decorating is this shelf right here and then possibly maybe adding a blanket or something right here just to make it a little bit more springy and vibrant in this room. I absolutely love this arch bookshelf that we have in this loft area. We got it from Amazon and then for the decor, I am only using decor that we already had. So to me, this area isn't really screaming spring although it is very cute. So over on the TV stand, I brought in spring a little bit more intensely by adding these faux tulips that I got last year. They are like those real life looking ones. So they look really nice and pretty, super colorful. And I just put them in a little vase that we already had. And voila, now it's looking a little bit more springy up here. Another thing that I wanted to do is actually take the blanket ladder that we had in our living room and go ahead and bring that up to the loft area. And then to fill the spot that the blanket ladder was at, I'm just bringing over a plant that used to be there. And this worked out so nice because we have not really had a great place to put blankets up in the loft. So now we have a nice place to store all of our blankets up there and we're still not having to buy anything new. We're just using the things that we already had. Just about everything is decorated down here. Usually we will change out like the pillow covers. However, I've just actually been really liking the ones that we have going on and they're neutral, so they don't really need to be changed out. However, I always get questions on where I get my pillow covers and where I get my inserts. So I get both from Amazon typically. They have such a huge selection and I always get the choppable pillows. I have those all linked, just like pretty much everything else that I can find linked in my Amazon favorites, which is always down below in the description box. All that to say, I'm not going to be changing out the pillow covers today. However, I did get this one from Home Goods. I typically don't do this. However, it does come like with an, a pillow cover so that I can take this out. And this one right here has just been being used for years and years and it's very tired. So I'm going to swap it out for this guy. And then I also need to set the coffee table and then we'll be all done. And decorating.
Now, usually I will opt for lower decor on our coffee table, but this time I actually tried this taller vase and some olive branches that we had, and I really loved the final look. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Here is that vase that we changed up with the stone finish and I've got to say I am such a fan. It looks totally different and actually way more high end to me now and I feel like it just fit on the built-in shelves so perfectly. I'm definitely going to be picking up more of those stone spray bottles and spraying a lot more decor with the stone finish because it just looks so so gorgeous. I love how the shelves turned out this year. I feel like they're very springy, but not in like a very in your face, hello, it's springtime kind of vibe. They're just more subtle and laid back, but I feel like you can look at them and absolutely know it is springtime outside. We have a lot of florals, a lot of greenery, a lot of life in the space. We have some of those bright colors kind of popping through. And then our kitchen at the moment is kind of as it is normally. Not too much has changed other than we've added those bloom towels and the live flowers. And then on the dining table, we have that new really lightweight table runner and that pretty white fruit bowl. I love, love, love love that piece and then just that added greenery touch on the buffet and I really just ended up loving how this year turned out like I said it's not in your face spring but I feel like you look at it and just definitely know it is springtime here at least in the page house it is spring <laughs> All right, you guys, it is a new day and we are going to make those Jamie's recipes. They actually both come from two of the cookbooks I got recently. This one I ordered on Amazon, Practically Paleo. She has like the yummiest, very simple recipes. This one I actually picked up at a secondhand bookstore up in Montana. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know I did AIP for a while and then now I'm kind of more paleo. And I do that for my Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder where my body basically attacks my thyroid constantly. So I am gluten-free, dairy-free, and a lot of other things. But the thing that I love about paleo foods is if you don't eat paleo, like you really don't notice that it's paleo. It's just a bunch of whole foods, except you're not having like grains and things like that in your food. So first, I think we're gonna start with the dessert the treat because it actually takes longer to make. Lemon curd cakes is what they are officially called. And I will have these cookbooks linked down below, but they are both incredible, especially the Practical Paleo. I love hers so, so much, but we're gonna start with by making the lemon curd cakes. And then we are going to make some delicious buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. They are so simple and they're done in a different way that I've never done previous to this recipe. So you guys are going to love both of them, but let's start with the yummy lemon one. Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake Cause you and I we lost our sight It's all about give and take I don't wanna see when you're at parties First we're going to do some prep I mean like the pre-prep. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then I'm also going to boil some water. I'm just using our little electric pitcher. And the reason we're doing that is because we're actually going to be taking like a baking dish or a roasting pan and then adding custard cups in there. You can see how they just fit in there. And then we're going to do like a little water, boiling water bath on the outside. So I'm just gonna take a little scoop of the coconut oil and add it into a bowl and I'll heat this in the microwave just so it melts a little bit and it'll be easier to kind of distribute. I don't know if you can tell it's all melted in there. So now I'm just going to go through every custard cup and just make sure it's fully coated on the inside and the walls. Okay, so we are going to start by whisking together the egg yolks, honey, lemon zest, and lemon juice, and coconut milk, and then also the vanilla bean seeds. You know, no, no. 
one vanilla bean is equal to one teaspoon of vanilla extract or one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. So this recipe calls for one vanilla bean, so I'm actually gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Okay, so now we're going to take a minute and just whisk this until everything is nice and combined. Once that's whisked, we are going to add in one and a half tablespoons of coconut flour, as well as a quarter tablespoon of sea salt. So this is what it's looking like right now. It's very, very runny. So we are going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. And while that sits, we are going to go ahead and beat this with a handheld mixer. And then we're going to blend it until like you get some stiff peaks. So you can see it's getting nice and frothy, but there's no peaks. So I'm gonna keep on going. We're almost there. They're getting closer, but it's still not quite too like stiff peaks. So we're gonna keep on going. Now that we have beat the egg whites until they have stiff peaks, we are just going to take it and fold it into the batter until everything is well incorporated. And then we will go ahead and put them in their custard cups, pour the boiling water around it and pop them in the oven for, I believe, 30 minutes. Like a diamond, you alone. You cut my heart like glass, just like that. Like a lion, uncontrolled. You work us on my back Just like that Okay, while those lemon curd cakes bake, we are going to start on the buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. These could not be easier. All you're going to do is make a buffalo seasoning blend. Then we're going to just slice up all the chicken breasts, get those coated in the seasoning. Then we're gonna pop them on a fry pan and just cook those up on the stove for a few minutes. You could also make it, I think, in the air fryer, but today we're gonna to do it on the stove and then you just assemble. It is so quick and easy and it's super, super yummy. So let's make those up, see if we can beat the clock before the lemon curd cakes are done. So before we get started on that, actually we are about halfway through the cooking process. So we're gonna turn these around and that will just create more even cooking time. Okay, so in a small bowl, we are going to add in two teaspoons of chipotle powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, as well as half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then just give that a good mix. We're just gonna cut this into thin little strips and I'm also gonna make sure they're not too long just so we can fit them on the small little butter leaves. So really quickly, I wanted to mention, I have had these caraway pans for about a year now. They have held up so great and I love them so much. And they are actually having a sale for the next few weeks. I will have that information down below, but I believe you get cash back or a gift card or something if you buy anything on their website. So I'll definitely have that link down below for you. Everything is done cooking. I did taste a bite of the lemon curd custard cakes. They're so delicious. They do need to set up, so I just took a little bite just to try it. The chicken is all done and cooked, so now we're just going to put everything together. And if you actually make my homemade ranch dressing, you can add that to the top of these. It just makes them so yummy and creamy, but if not, it's totally fine too. Once we're done like kind of plating everything, I will tackle the last minute dishes that we just made a mess of and then 
we will be all done. I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the bridge. The bridge, you asked if I'd save you. This looks amazing. These are good. Mm -hmm. One thing that I did forget to mention is that these lemon curd cakes will never be fully set up like a traditional cake, but instead the top will be like a cake and then underneath that surface, it will be a curd or pudding like texture. It is so incredibly delicious. If you are a lemon person like me, then this is definitely going to be right up your alley. You are going to love it. And I love that it's also pretty healthy as far as desserts go. And as always, if you try any of the recipes that I share here on my channel, definitely let me know in the comments what you think. I always love hearing the feedback on which ones end up being your favorites. And also, if you want to check out more of the recipes that I've shared on my channel, I will link my cook with me playlist and also my homemaking playlist down below. I have no idea how many actual recipes I've shared, but it is a lot. So if you're needing some more recipe inspiration to kind of change things up in your home, be sure to check out those playlists. And here I am doing dishes once again. They are never ending. You see what I mean? They just are always, always, always there waiting for you. But anyway, it feels so nice to have our house decorated for spring, making it feel nice and springy inside. I actually feel like the weather the last few days has been kind of getting a hint that we're over winter. And here in Arizona, at least, we are starting to feel those spring temperatures come up. We're starting to see a lot of buds on the trees and it's just, uh, it's one of my favorite times of year where you're just seeing life kind of sprout up all around you. It's so inspiring and just so needed, I feel, after a long winter. And let me know in the comments, have you already decorated for spring? Do you decorate for spring or do you just watch these videos just for fun to kind of get some ideas and inspiration? If you have already decorated for spring, I would love if you tag me over on Instagram so I can see your space and see kind of what things that you've decided to do in your own home. But anyway, we have been busy, busy bees over here and I'm so excited for next week's video because I actually went into our master bathroom Room, and there are going to be some crazy embarrassing moments in there. I'm sharing it all. We're getting some cleaning done and above all, we are getting that place decluttered and super, super organized. It just feels like a whole new bathroom and I'm so here for it. It's been something that's definitely been on my to-do list for a very, very long time and we are finally getting that done. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys next week. You definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So if you're not already a part of the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything, but that way you're going to be notified on any time that I share new content. I hope you guys got tons of spring inspiration and enjoyed spending some of your day with me. And like I mentioned earlier, if you are in need of some new recipes, I'm going to link my homemaking playlist right here. So you can go ahead and check that out on the right side of the screen. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.